What's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a very long Wi-Fi battle against my boy Ian from my Discord server. If you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Twitter, Discord, or Facebook. Links are always in the description below. This battle was in the PU tier and uh, this battle was a very good one. All of my battles against Ian are always really good. Um, this one was like a 1-0, so this one was very close. And um, yeah, like I said, this battle is really long. This is like twice the size of like some of my other battles here recently. But anyway, looking at Ian's team, he's got the Silvali, the Ninetales, Cacleon, the Phariseed, Kling Kling, and the Mesprit. So his Silvali and his Cacleon were really a pain in my ass this game, um, as we'll see. Looking at my team, I've got the Lycanroc, the Lipard, we've got Alolan Exeggutor with his fucking long neck. I love this thing so much. It's one of my favorite mons from 7th Gen. We also got the Togedemaru, the Luminion, and my boy Girder. So this battle was really good, guys. I hope you'll enjoy it. So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with my Lycanroc as my opponent is going to lead off with his Silvali. So this actually wasn't bad for me because I do have the Focus Sash so I can literally live any hit he wants to go for. So I take this opportunity to set up my Stealth Cox as my opponent is going to go for the Parting Shot. Which kind of sucks but it's also kind of good for me as we'll see here. He's going to lower my attack and Special Attack which because he brings in his Pharisee here really doesn't matter too much. So, like I said, he's going to bring in his Pharisee, and I actually pack the Taunt on this Lycanroc, so I'm going to be able to shut down any entry hazard stacking that this man wants to go for. So I'm going to go for the Taunt here, obviously that makes it so he can only use attacking moves, so he's not going to be able to set up his Stealth Rocks like he was trying to there. Or his Spikes, or his Thunder Waves, or Leech Seeds, or whatever the hell else this thing wants to go for, so... I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to swap into my Carolina, which is my Alolan Exeggutor. His head's not even fucking on the screen. This man's so tall. <laughs> um, so he's going to go for the knockoff there. As you'll see, it doesn't knock off anything because I'm actually holding a Z Crystal on this Alolan Exeggutor. So now he's going to bring out the Cacleon as I go for the Flamethrower there. Obviously trying to catch his, uh, his Pharisee there with its four times weakness to fire and whatnot. So... He brings out the Cacleon, he's going to take some Stealth Rocks damage and the Flamethrower. It actually does a decent amount, but this Cacleon, Assault Vest Cacleon, dude, means fucking business. So he's going to go for the Power Up Punch, get an attack boost. And uh, right here, I'm actually going to just go ahead and try to nuke this thing with the Z uh, Draco Meteor, which turns out, it, it, ah, fuck, can't talk. It turns into Devastating Drake. Um, unfortunately for me, it actually doesn't even kill him, so I was pretty fucking bummed about this, so he actually lives on like fucking 3 HP or some bullshit, <laughs> so that's really fucking unfortunate, and I just realized that his nickname is Misappear, I think that's what Garrett names his Cacleon, so I'm guessing that's, uh, I'm guessing that's where he got the nickname from, so he's gonna go for the Drain Punch there, get a lot of my HP back, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so I make kind of a dumb play here by going for Giga Drain. I probably should have gone for the Draco Meteor to kill him. I think it would have killed him from that range anyway, but because I went for the Giga Drain, this next Drain Punch, he's going to get even more HP back, so that was kind of a dumb play on my part. I really shouldn't have done that. But <laughs> hindsight's 2020, so he's going to kill off my Alolan Exeggutor here, which really sucks. I'm always, see I'm always sad to see that man go down, so I'm going to bring out my tight pussy here. And uh, I actually try to style on this man a little bit. I go for the copycat here, which is going to copy his drain punch. And um, now I knew that because of his protean, he was fighting type. And I knew it wouldn't be super effective, but I figured it would kill. Because Cacleon's more bulky on the special side, not the physical side. But he fucking, he lives on like 3 HP again. And he fucking drain punches my ass and gets so much HP back. This fucking Cacleon is a pain in my my fucking ass dude so i'm gonna bring out my uh my toga demaru here which looks like a dumb play i i realize that i'm weak to the fighting attacks because i'm a steel type but i have faith in my man toga demaru i'm gonna go for the zing zap that is going to kill off the cacleon because like i said he's more bulky on the special side rather than the physical so now he's gonna bring out the pharisee and because i'm gonna have to swap here he is able to set up the stealth rocks which kind of I don't know, it kind of sucks, but it also, my team isn't really super weak to Stealth Rocks either, so, I mean, I guess it's kind of meh. 
But um, yeah, he is going to at least be able to get up these stealth rocks. I don't know if this thing carries the spikes or whatever, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and taunt him before he can set anything else up. Um, as I believe he just goes for the knockoff here. So he's going to knock off my uh, my focus sash, which really doesn't matter on Lycanroc because I'm frail as shit anyway. Like, <laughs> it, it's whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to bring out my balls here. And uh, Luminion is a pretty cool mon. I actually, I don't think I've ever used it before um, competitively, but it actually is surprisingly bulky. Um, it doesn't look that bulky on paper, but you give it a bold nature, max HP, max defense, it's pretty damn impressive actually. I'll, I'll say that. Um, so he's going to swap out into his Sivali here, and he goes for the multi-attack, and look how well I take this. I'm assuming he's max attack, but uh, yeah, Luminion actually eats that pretty damn well, and I go for the Toxic there to try to put this thing on a timer, and I say try, um, because hint hint, he has the, or, well, I'll let you guys figure it out if you watch through the video, but anyway, I was at least trying to put this man on a timer, let's say that, <laughs> um, and I believe here I just go for the Scald as he goes for the parting shot, and uh, that's going to lower my attack and special attack, obviously only the special attack matters, so he's going to get the hell out of here, and uh, he's going to bring... I think the Ferroseed, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so he's going to bring out his Ferroseed now. He's going to take some Stealth Rocks damage and the Scald damage. And I actually luck out. I do get the Scald burn, which is clean. So any chip damage is nice damage, in my opinion. <laughs> Especially when this thing's only reliable recovery is Leech Seed. He doesn't have anything else. He doesn't have leftovers or anything like that. But now these, <laughs> these fucking turns are going to take fucking forever. Because I've got to get leftovers recovery. He's going to take... Um, the burn damage and uh, in a second here he's gonna set up the leech seed so I'm gonna go for the defog here just to get rid of his rocks and it's also gonna get rid of my rocks as well but that's okay because I still have my lichen rock I can set those up later so he's gonna go for the leech seed now this is where turns start taking forever so I'm gonna get leftovers leech seed damage he's gonna gain HP and then he's gonna get burned or well get hurt from burn so these fucking turns take ages <laughs> Uh, I really should have just sped this video up, but it's whatever. Um, so I'm just going to go for the U-turn here, which actually was kind of a dumb play because of the iron barbs. I probably should have just hard switched instead, but like I said, any chip damage is good damage, so I kind of wanted to get some chip damage off on this Pharisee. I'm going to bring out my boy Mo Lester here as he goes for the Thunder Wave, which is great for me actually, because in this battle, I don't get Parahacks at all. Um, I don't know what I did, but usually <laughs> battles that I get para or paralyzed, I get parahacks like 16 turns in a row. It's fucking disgusting. But um, he actually activates my Guts ability there, which is great. So now my Girder has even more attack to deal with. Um, so I'm going to go for the bulk up here. That's going to give me an attack and a defense boost, which is clean. As he brings out his Sivali, he's going to take some toxic damage. And I kind of figured with the Eviolite and the plus one defense boost... Even though he's still Volley Fairy, his multi-attacks probably are not going to be doing that much damage. As we'll see here, he doesn't do that much. And uh, I'm going to just go for the Drain Punch here. And we actually see it does decent damage being like a resisted hit. So I'm pretty pretty damn impressed with my boy Mo Lester here. This <laughs> girder means business. He's going to whack you in the face with his fucking girder that he's carrying around. So between the Toxic and the Drain Punch damage, it's actually doing a shit ton. But unfortunately for me, and what I was hinting at before, this Silvali actually packs the rest. So <laughs> this fucking bastard has rest, and now I gotta deal with that. So I'm gonna go for another Drain Punch here, as he's going to obviously Sleep Talk. I think he actually lucks out on the first one, and he does get multi-attack, but I'm pretty much all the way back up to full health. So yeah, he's going to sleep talk here, get multi-attack, and it's going to do about the same as like the first time he used it against me, so we'll see here. And uh, I was basically, I kind of decided that I'm just going to try to set up on this thing, because if I get through his Savali, pretty much the remaining or the remaining members of his team die to uh, Mach Punch if I get set up all the way, so um, that's basically what I was going for here. And uh, he sleep talks and he gets parting shot, which is kind of mixed. It's not great, but it's not bad either. He's going to lower my attack one stage, but I'm still at plus one attack because I was at plus two previously. So he's going to swap out there. 
He's going to bring out the Mesprit as I go for the Drain Punch once again. And like I said before, I don't think I got Parahaxed a single time this battle, which is fucking nuts. But uh, yeah, that Guts plus one um, Drain Punch actually does a sizable amount of damage to that Mesprit, which is really nice. So I'm going to swap out here because I do not want to take the, the incoming Psychic attack. I'm going to bring out my boy Togedemaru here as he does go for the Psychic. And obviously, being a steel type, I resist that. It still does a decent amount. I mean, Mesprit does have decent special attack. It's not like, it's not as good as its uh, its other brethren like uh, Uxie and uh, Azelf. Definitely Azelf, though. Um, but anyway, he's gonna bring out his Pharisee now as I go for the U-turn. I went for the U-turn. I wasn't really predicting anything, um, but I knew that U-turn would probably kill the Uxies. But he's just gonna bring out the Pharisee. I'm gonna take some Iron Barb's damage. And uh, this is actually pretty clean for me because now I can just taunt this thing. Um, and honestly, I should have predicted the switch. The taunt was a very obvious play for me. Um, I should have predicted the switch. He's going to bring out the Mesprit. I should have gone for the Excel Rock because one Excel Rock wouldn't kill him, but two of them probably would. Um, so now I'm, I'm pretty much in a spot where I have to risk the Stone Edge miss. So he's going to Psychic and it's not going to kill me. I barely hang on with like 8 HP or something like that. Yeah. So I go for the Stone Edge there, thank god I don't miss. I actually crit him, which didn't matter, um, because even if Stone Edge didn't kill him, I do have the Excel Rock, which has priority, so that's fine. So Mesprit goes down, he's going to bring out Dr. Gears, and uh, I'm going to go for the Taunt here because I don't want him to start setting up with uh, Shift Gear or whatever. So he's going to kill me off with a... actually no, he misses his first Gear Grind, which uh, allows me to set up my Stealth Rocks once again, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, he's just gonna kill me off. I think he instead of going for gear grind. He, yeah, he goes for a return there not wanting to miss um, So that's gonna kill off Kevin, but Kevin has done a fabulous job. He did his job getting up stealth rocks That's pretty much all I that's pretty much all he's on the team for and uh, also uh, Stopping like Pharisee from setting up hazards and stuff. So he did a he did a great job So I'm gonna bring out girder here, and uh, he's gonna swap back out into the Savali. I kind of figured he'd swap um Kling Kling is definitely my opponent's win con at this pos at this uh, point in the battle, so I'm gonna just go straight for the uh, bulk up, not the bulk up, the drain punch there. I didn't want to bulk up in case, actually I don't know, I guess I could have bulked up there, but anyway, I just wanted to get some damage off, and uh, here I'm just gonna swap out into the Togedemaru. As my opponent messes up, he actually forgot his, uh, his sleep talk turns. When you rest, you uh, wake up uh, after two turns automatically, so he messed up there which actually helped me out because it let me get my uh togedemaru in for free but uh, i'm gonna go for the zing zap here as he goes back out into his pharisee so i'm gonna take even more iron barbs damage and then he's gonna take his burn damage <laughs> so once again these turns are taking a fucking fortnight to finish but anyway i'm gonna get out of here i need to conserve my uh my togedemaru because it's honestly the only thing that can really deal with his silvali very well at all um, so he's going to go for the knockoff here on the switch, which is a good play, but honestly, Girder is pretty damn bulky on its own without the Eviolite, as we'll see here um, a little later in the battle. So I'm just going to go for the Drain Punch here just to kill off the Pharisee. And I think it puts me at like around full health ish. Or maybe, yeah. Yeah, so I'm at full health, but then I'm going to take some Iron Barbs damage. Which is totally fine, because Girder, as long as Girder is like in the green, you're pretty much. You're pretty much golden, so now he's going to bring out his Ninetales, and we'll see here just how bulky Girder is without his Eviolite, and I don't have a bulk up up or anything, um, so he's going to go for the Psyshock here. I was actually trying to sack off my Girder. Um, I thought he would go for like the Flamethrower or Fire Blast or something, but uh, he goes for Psyshock. I actually live that. That's a Life Orb Ninetales, guys, and I just live that without any boost or anything. And uh, <laughs> I just go for the knockoff there. That is going to annihilate the Ninetales. So I was trying to sack off Girder, but Girder says no, and he just wanted to get one more kill out of him. Um, so that was pretty interesting. So now I'm going to swap as he brings out his Silvali. I'm going to bring out Togedemaru once again. And I kind of figured he would go for the rest, but he actually just goes for the multi attack. And it's going to put me to around 20 HP, which, yeah, 20 HP. Um, I should have definitely gone for the Poison Jab here. I'm kicking myself for not doing that. I went for Zing Zap. I didn't think Poison Jab would kill, but as we'll see later, it actually does enough damage where that would have killed. 
But uh, I went for Zingzap because it does have that 30% chance to flinch. But obviously I didn't get it and he's able to get another fucking rest off. God, I hate this Silvali. It's so fucking annoying. Ugh. The Silvali and the Cacleon both were just too much for this team. <laughs> or that, and I just played pretty badly, so... Anyway, he's just gonna go for the rest, or sorry, the sleep talk here. He's gonna get the multi-attack as I bring in my Luminion. It does a decent amount, but lol, I live on 69 HP, but I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some leftovers back. <laughs> and uh, I think here I just start spamming Scald, because it's pretty much the only thing I can do at this point. Um, so he's gonna go for sleep talk. And I think he gets the, yeah, he gets rest, so he gets unlucky there. I go for the U-turn. I'm going to swap back out into my Togedemaru, if I'm not mistaken. And then I believe I just go for the uh, the Poison Jab. And this is the turn that I see that Poison Jab definitely would have killed him back then had I gone for it. So I'm kicking myself for that. And unfortunately, I think that was the play that probably cost me the game. Look how much damage that does. That definitely would have killed back then, but... Anyway, my opponent messes up again. He goes for sleep talk on the turn that he wakes up. I guess he didn't know that he automatically wakes up after two turns with rest. But anyway, I go for another poison jab there. I actually get the poison. Um, not that it matters too much. He's going to go for another multi-attack and that is going to kill me. He actually crits me there, but I don't think that crit mattered unless he got like a super low roll that I was able to live. I don't know. Um, it's Pokemon. Theory modding is not my thing. <laughs> so... I'm gonna bring out Mo Lester here, and I was kind of thinking that he would probably die to a mock punch at that range, but unfortunately, he fucking. Ugh! He lives on like three again! That's like the third time this battle that's happened. And he goes for the damn multi attack, and that's gonna kill my girder now. <laughs> so that was. Now I have nothing for his fucking cling cling. So now it's my last mon versus his last mon. And my last mon is the Luminion. My opponent's last mon is the Kling Kling, which I literally can do nothing to other than hope for like a Scald Burn or whatever. Um, if my Luminion was at like higher HP, there's like a slight chance that I would have won this battle. Um, but I would have had to absolutely had a Scald Burn. So my opponent's going to go ahead and set up a Shift Gear over there. I'm going to go for the Scald. Unfortunately for me, I do not get the Burn. Not that it matters at this point, like if Luminion was at like full health, it probably would have won me the game, but <sighs> Unfort, that is not the case, so he's going to go for the return here. I actually lived the first return and am able to get a second Scald off. <sighs> I'm kicking myself for that fucking Togedemaru non-poison jabbing play. <laughs> oh man, that really, <sighs> the Silvali really shit on my, my hopes and dreams. But anyway, he's going to go ahead and go for another return, and that is the end of the battle. So a very close battle, Ian. We will definitely battle again. All of our battles have been really exciting. But um, yeah, this was a very long battle, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Leave a like if you did. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Hit me up on Discord for a battle. Links, as always, are in the description below. I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Peace out.